Coming right up, a special edition of Straight Talk, Lessons of the BP Oil Disaster, with former Justice Department trial attorney Dan Jacobs. Opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications nor its sponsors. We recognize our obligation to present opposing points of view by responsible spokespersons. For information, please contact the director of program. She stands in the face of evil and will not lose hope or faith. America, the land of freedom, is still the home of the brave. So raise the banner. Straight Talk is brought to you in part by Southern California Edison. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. The Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host... Art Levine. Good evening and welcome to Straight Talk. We have a great show for you tonight on the BP oil spill. Our guest is a real expert. Dan Jacobs is the director of the Masters in Sustainability Management Program at the Kogat School of Business Administration at American University in Washington, D.C., and he's a former federal trial attorney. Dan, welcome to Straight Talk. Thanks, Art. It's great to be here. I want to mention for the record that... Uh, uh, this show will focus on a very unfortunate uh, set of events involving BP. Uh, BP is also very active in the Long Beach community, doing a lot of very positive things. And we have uh, notified them about the show and invited them to appear on a, on a later show. Uh, Dan, uh, we met uh, uh, at a law conference in Palm Springs in February, and you delivered a very fine paper on this subject, and that triggered uh, the reason for your invitation to appear here. The uh, paper that you delivered was entitled Lessons of the BP Oil Disaster in the Gulf, Have We Learned or Only Failed? And uh, uh, it was a powerful paper, and uh, we want to explore some of your observations and conclusions uh, from the paper. So again, welcome to Straight Talk. We're very glad that you're here. And uh, the oil spill or disaster has been described as the worst offshore oil disclosure discharge in American history and one of the worst environmental disasters of our lifetime. You take issue with calling it a spill. Why? Yeah. Um, in, in fairness, spill is the technical term of art that we use to describe these types of events. But in actuality, it was a disaster. And practically, it was not really a spill. You can spill milk in your kitchen. <laughs> you can uh, spill your beer at a bar. You might even spill uh, a little fuel if you're filling your gas tank uh, carelessly. But this oil did not just spill. Um, this oil exploded from this well, and it went on and gushed for months and months uh, into the Gulf, uh, beginning um, in April of last year, uh, to the tune of four, at least uh, four million barrels, uh, as reported. Pr President Obama formed a commission to investigate the, uh, the root causes of the disaster, and uh, uh, the facts that uh, you will be uh, discussing are, are taken from that commission report. Tell us a little bit about the commission. Yeah, you're quite right. First of all, Art, um, I didn't investigate this particular disaster. Um, 
but it's been thoroughly investigated by the President's Commission, and uh, I base uh, my um, conclusions and evaluation and analysis on the Commission's report um, and on the hearings that I attended. The Commission uh, was a bipartisan commission. It was formed by executive order of the President. Um, it was led by uh, Bill Riley, uh, former EPA Administrator, a Republican, and former Senator Bob Graham, uh, a Democrat. So obviously it was a bipartisan commission, um, um, a blue ribbon commission, some very talented people as commissioners and uh, on the staff as well. The executive director, for example, was uh, Professor Richard very Lazarus good. of Georgia. So the commission uh, and its findings have a lot of credibility and as you say, bipartisan uh, support. Let me just read from your paper and then we'll ask you to comment on some of the findings of this presidential commission as to the cause of the, uh, uh, the well disaster. First, inadequate risk evaluation and management of late stage well designed decisions. Flawed design for the cement slurry used to seal the bottom of the well, which was developed without adequate engineering review. Third, negative pressure tests conducted to evaluate the cement seal at the bottom of the well identified problems but was incorrectly judged a success because of insufficiently vigorous test procedures, flawed procedures for securing the well, apparent inattention to key initial signals of the impending blowout, and other such conclusions. A pretty damning uh, behavior uh, by a major uh, entity. I mean, BP is a world-class, I think a fourth largest industrial company in the world and uh, discuss some of the findings uh, of the report. Sure, fourth largest transnational corporation in the world, so you might expect them to um, have the uh, wherewithal and the uh, talent um, and the incentive to um, not only be able to uh, do uh, oil exploration at these depths, 18,000 feet, as reported below the surface of, of the ocean, but also to be able to secure the well, secure the well, when they're finished uh, with, with the drilling. Now, just for the record, exploring and drilling 18,000 miles, which is over feet, yeah. feet, which is over three miles, I mean, that's a major technological accomplishment. Absolutely. I mean, we could, to be fair, we could, you know, call it rocket science, if you will. Um, but if you want to continue the metaphor, when, when we fly, when we get on an airplane, um, that's also rocket science to somebody like me who's not particularly adept in science. And we expect a certain uh, level of safety. We expect to be able to get from the Long Beach Airport, for example, to Washington, D.C. safely. And we expect that the aircraft is going to be properly maintained and that it's going to be properly flown. And we're going to have people who are trained and knowledgeable um, flying the aircraft who are going to know what to do if something goes wrong. And we're going to have the technology and the redundancy in the technology to make sure that if something goes wrong, we can handle it. Well said. And in the next segment, we're going to look at three specific failures and analyze them. We'll be back with this great discussion after these messages. Supported by Edison International. Californians are getting to be old hands at year-round energy conservation, part of our special awareness of the resources we all depend on. We're making the change to energy-efficient light bulbs, keeping warm weather thermostats set to a comfortable 78 degrees, and giving major appliances the afternoon off. Because when it comes to energy conservation, it all adds up. Life, powered by Edison. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started. This is Audrey Kerr, sharing with you just one of the 100 centennial moments we chose to mark this special occasion. 
Oil extraction in the harbor once caused the ground to sink by as much as 30 feet or more in some parts of the harbor. The solution to this subsidence, pumping salt water into the ground to keep it from sinking, is considered by all an engineering wonder. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.